hey what's up so this question is called grade distribution and to be honest it's not that easy but uh, let me try to explain it to you we have a table called grades and the columns are name the name of the student id the id of the student midterm one is the score for the student in midterm one uh, midterm two and final and to evaluate a student grade you have three options option one is to multiply midterm one by 25 percent and midterm two by 25 percent and sum that with the final times 50 percent so the sum of this option two is the sum of these two so midterm one and midterm two times 50 percent and option three is the final exam as is this and this is what required from you you need to query the name and id of all the students whose best grade comes from option three sort it based on the first three characters of their name if the first three characters of two names are the same then the student with the lower id value comes first so as you can see it's not that easy or straightforward but what i will do i will just implement these and then the find uh, the students where option three is bigger than option two and option one. This is what I'm going to do. It. I actually, after I solved this, I looked into the solutions. Some of them are really short and smart, but what I am going to do, I will just uh, implement it as it is and show you uh, the basic solution. Maybe then you can look at the solutions and understand how to solve it in a shorter way. So I will just select, I'll leave it empty for now from the grade table call it g this is actually a shortcut for this let's put a space in the name so g dot name and g dot id now i will start to calculate these options so first one is midterm one times 0 0.25 you don't need parentheses but i will put them to make it uh make it clear when you read the code so midterm midterm two times 25 percent plus final times 0 0.5 which is 50 percent actually there you can uh divide this by four it's the same thing but yeah i will just leave it like this to be explicit i will call this as uh, option one or just remove that which is shorter so now the option two is these but times five 0 0.5 which is 50 percent as you can see here and this will be option two and the final option is just g dot final and this i would call it uh option three and let me just make sure that these are like this you can actually remove the g i just want the table to be named uh, for no good reason to be honest okay so let's run this to make sure this works correctly yeah i forgot the semicolon let's look at this so as you can see from the output we got we should only find the users that has option three bigger than option one and two so we can actually do this by either writing here a word class and we can't actually reference the tab the column names in the word class we can actually reference the whole thing like this because i think if you think about it why we can't reference the column names because uh, this will be executed before it calculating this okay this is how the mysql engine works so that's why you can't access uh, reference these names because they are not even uh, produced yet the, the work class will be uh, activated before calculating this so actually i don't like putting these like this i think it's really dirty and it will require you to keep modifying two places i like to use sub queries so let's select a name 
and ID. From sub query, I will put this remove semicolon here. Make it look nice. You need to give uh, names for sub queries, so you can put like this as I would call it logic. So our logic where can remove this. Uh, where or no? Yeah, where? That's why I did this. Where option three is bigger than option one, and option three is bigger than option two, and you can actually put this logic, but but I will keep it like this. But this will work. But we forgot to order them by the first three characters, and this is actually uh, a little bit confusing, maybe. But you can do this in MySQL by order by substring and choose g dot name and take from z from one index starts from one in MySQL to three. So sort by the first three characters. If these are equal, just put comma g dot id sort by sort by the ID in ascending order, and that's it. So this run tests. Uh, of course, the semicolon. I always forget that. Forget that. So as you can see, we got the uh, answers correctly. Let's now submit. Yeah. Um, so I'm actually doing the same exact description, but in uh, SQL. If you, I mean, the exact, even the exact same steps. Uh, if you go to the solutions, this will be unlocked after you, uh, after you submitted a valid solution. You will see very smart solutions, especially the first one. You can try to read it, understand it. Maybe this will be a starting point. Uh, not sure about my PC, but maybe it's giving up. So yeah, just look at the solutions. I highly recommend that. And thank you.